Hello. I'm back. <laughs> um, Cat and I just Cat Moosh and I just had our very first hockey practice. Not hockey game practice, but like hockey learning practice. And we were told that we're probably going to graduate pretty quickly from skating class to playing class. And then we can get into doing scrimmages. That's going to be very fun. Um, but quick, I want to get into the game really fast. Couple things. I saw Goose saying, can we keep the graphics past finals week? That's the plan. Uh, I really like the graphics that we made for finals week. So we're going to keep them. And I think every finals week... We're going to just like create a new theme for the next year of streaming, which will be very cute. So we'll have like the little paper craft graphics for this year. And second thing, during uh, skating practice, we weren't even on the ice for like two minutes before one of the other girls in the class turned and was like, hi, my name is this. What's your name? Like, hi, it's nice to meet you. Which was very sweet because like Kat and I are both very socially awkward and we never want to like inconvenience anyone. So we never introduce ourselves. And so uh, we like exchanged names and she was like, are you guys trying to play hockey too? And we were like, yeah, we've been learning constantly for the last like month. We come like five days a week to practice. And she was like, oh my gosh, me too. Wait, can we exchange numbers? It would be really cool to like practice together if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> So after practice, um, I went looking for her because there's like a bunch of different locker rooms and like there's a women's locker room and then a general locker room and then like a non-binary locker room and stuff. And I finally found her and was like, I just want to make sure that you want to actually exchange numbers because that sounds great. And so we exchanged numbers and uh, we might have like another little hockey gal that we get to skate with. It was very cute. I was like, we need to do this, but we're way too socially awkward i'm glad she was confident enough and bubbly enough um she graduated from skating class immediately so she's already in the play class starting next week but she's gonna try to come to some of the uh like public skates that we go and like practice at we might do a stick and puck with her it was very cute it was so fun um but kat and i already have homework for the week to learn our coach was is like, I think he said he was like 62, and he's definitely a dad. He was telling a lot of dad jokes and like rambling while he was teaching stuff, and it was very, very cute. Um, but that's my little story of the last, what, like four hours. We also went out and got dinner afterwards. That's why it wasn't, it wasn't like a two-hour thing. I said, you'll see me in two hours if we're done. Um, we went out and got dinner, so... And we watched a guy almost die at dinner. So that was a lot of fun. Um, a guy started choking on his food and had to get the Heimlich. And the first guy that was doing the Heimlich on the man was like pressing right here, right on the sternum. And we were like, <laughs> we were across the restaurant just being like, dear God, please help that man. <laughs> and so a bartender ran around the bar and pushed the other guy off of him and actually did the Heimlich on the man. And this man was like choking, choking. So he fi they finally get him done. And we're expecting this man to just like pay his tab and leave. We look over 10 minutes later and he is shoveling food in his mouth again. And we all look at each other and we're like, what? What? Huh? And he's like having a good time. And Kat and I just sit there and we're just like, if that were personally me, if I choked enough that I needed to get the Heimlich from someone in public, the stress from that would make me want to just go home, not eat food for an entire week, sleep for eight days. Just the, the stress release of that would have just completely shut me down. But he was just having a grand old time. He was sitting at the bar. He made new friends that gave him the Heimlich, and he was just having a a blast and we were just sitting here like traumatized on the other side of the restaurant being like did he not feel stress from that hold on <laughs> i drink nothing but soylent you know if any of you <laughs> like to try out soylent you can go to soylent.com slash rip nika 
<laughs> I hope he tips the bartender well too. God. How are you? Sorry I haven't been here in a while. I was busy with school, passing my finals, passing my classes. Oh, hell yeah, Emma. Congrats. Please don't apologize for having to miss stream for the school and exams and stuff. Whew. All right. Um, we're loading up BG3 because I'm ready to kill a brain. I'm ready to kill a brain. I'm ready to get this done. That was my best joke today. <laughs> He's neurotypical. <laughs> yeah, probably. He just looked like a football dad, you know? <laughs> I could really use some BG3 vibes tonight. Andy, we are seconds away from finishing this game. Seconds. So let's see. Let's see where the vibes take us. <laughs> Do subs still have to the counter? No, no, no. We we switched up the format. Um, so we have four hours left. The subs currently are just to get to our next sub goal, which let me change this. 650. House flipper two. Oh. It's a little house flipper too, but it's also with chat. So with chat, sure. It's little, but you get the gist. It's little, but you get the gist. Whew. All right, hear me out. It's potentially possible to raid Greg twice a day. Wait, that would be really, really funny. I wasn't able to stick around after we raided Greg. Um, but I hope you guys had a wonderful time with Greg. I had to literally like run be outside because since my tire on my car is flat, I asked Kat and Moosh to pick me up. Um, and they were like, yeah, we're literally like three minutes away. And I was like, B, this has got to be the fastest bathroom break we have ever taken in our life. And it was, and it was. Let's see. Alrighty. All right. We can do this. We have to do this. I feel its pull. Its desire to enthrall is overwhelming. I'm scared. No, he looks so good covered in blood. All right. We can do this. We have to do this. All right, let's give everyone a little talk to. Such blazing wonder. The sky swarming with red dragons. They may roar of lack its name, but I can't deny their beauty. For this one moment, in this one battle, the Lich Queen and I share a common cause. The Netherbrain's defeat and the Grand Design's failure. Good Lord, he's simply indecent. Are you ready to face the nether brain? I am. With the prince of the comet at our side, we will wreck the nether brain and its grand design. Never again will my people suffer under illithid enslavement. Zai, Zai, Zai! How are you holding up? I am iron, steel, and silver. I love her. I am my mother's blade. Jmar Salar Gith. I love her so much. High Hall was once a beacon of promise, of wisdom. He just looks naked. <laughs> now, well, he is little Chippendale. It's just a beacon for all manner of horrors. Pity. Yeah, we've already had these options before. Oh, they gave me a little gilded chest with potions. Hello, honeybee. What do you need? You literally just had a treat. We're not doing that. And if I click no? The 
besties. You know why she was up on the desk? Look at her tail. Look at her little tail wag. a toy there you have a toy there you have a toy in there you have a toy over there but you want him it's keep away babe it's keep away you can't have him he's mom's he's just like you she really is so if i sit him right here i wonder what she's gonna do i'll wait What do you want? Do you want... Do you want an actual... Do you want a T-R-E-A-T? She's so cute. She has the cutest eyes. I love her so much. Do you want a T-R-E-A-T? I can grab you one. I'll grab you one. Sorry, the hockey friend is texting us. All right, Miss Ma'am. Oh, you are sitting at attention, huh? You want this? Look at you, you look so handsome. Okay. So handsome. What a handsome. The baby. She's such a baby. Yeah. Kate, thank you so much for the three month resub. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good one. Our B goal is 2K, so you've had plenty of B sightings. I mean, hold on. The hockey friend is texting Kat and I in a group chat. Yeah, we're like eight away. We're seven away? Because we were at 1990. We're, at, we're six away. We're six away. Thank you so much for the 613 sub. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful one today. Did I miss any? Let me pop over. Oh, I missed counting Kate's. And I think that's everyone. So we're up to 608. 608. Give me just a second. I'm like, do you guys ever get nervous when you make a new friend and you don't know like how to talk? <laughs> Cause I'm like, how do I respond? She literally said it was great meeting you both. And I'm like, uh, uh, ha ha ha. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you too. <laughs> yes, certainly. Mm-hmm. 
That's me with every text, even if people I've known for years. Uh huh. Do you tell her how glad you are that she broke the oh broke the ice? That's really funny. I'm going to say <laughs> Yeah. It was great. <laughs> great to meet you too. This is when we're going skating again. Draft the text with chat. Cat's already texted back. I got to do it too. Um, I'm going to ask Kat if I should float our next training sesh to her. We did it! Mark it off your sheet! Mark it off your sheet! B, 2002. What was our goal? It was, uh, you get 2K and you get to mark it off of your bingo sheet if you had it. For 2K. Okay. We did it, honeybee. Honeybee, we did it. Was your treat good? Was it a good treat? You gotta get on. You gotta get on screen to accept your your rewards. Come here. Come here. Come. Come up here. Come here. I gotta lure you. Come here. Will you come up here? Can we get a celebratory jump? Celebratory jump. Come on. Come on. She's smiling so big right now. Do a jump. 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 Oh, sneeze. Jump. Jump. There it is. Good job, honeybee. Astarian's pants are falling down. Don't ask me why. I don't know. He's just... God. God, it's like having a child. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's play, wait, hold on. Okay, it was great meeting you too. These are the times we're going to public skate later this week. They also use y'all in their text. Anyone that uses y'all. Text is sent. I can't look at my phone anymore. I'm scared. 
All right. The high hall was once a beacon of promise, of wisdom, of celebration. Do you think we stand a chance now, against well, the Netherbrain? I'm cautiously optimistic. Though, with the time left to us and the amount still to be done, it's best we don't take anything. Let's see, we for got an immediate text back. Who knows what Shetty's <laughs> final moments of ours might assume? Not I. Not Mistra. Not even you. Whatever my fate might be, I'd be glad to greet it in such fine company. Great. Okay. What will you do when we get to hold of the crown? When? I'm glad you have such confidence in our endeavor. I confess, my own's not constructed from such immutable materials. I don't Andy? Dare to imagine making such a decision when there's the small matter of the enormous brain beneath the crown still to overcome. Great. Ask me again when the illithid scourge has been wiped from this city and I'll have an answer for you. Until then, it's best not to count on anything. Great, okay. Great, okay. I'm nervous. Thought occurs to you as you gaze at the monstrosity above. Gale's orb remains an option. One that could put an end to the absolute once and Not us looking at him like You're plotting something, aren't you? Come on then. Out with it. I'd rather know before we take on that cerebral monstrosity. No, not thirsting fusion. I'm not thirsting over Gale. Quite the opposite. Bessies. I have spent this entire playthrough <laughs> saying, Gale, if you just blew yourself up, we could win. <laughs> He's been our pool boy the whole time. And now he could have a purpose. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> but hey, we're gonna make up for this because I promised you guys my next playthrough on stream would be us romancing Gale. <laughs> I just love that Tav looked up at the brain and then was like, Hey, Gail. Um, and Gail looks at her like, what are you thinking about? And Tav's just like, um, I don't know. So like, maybe, you, I don't know. Like, <laughs> do not tell Gail to all of What if we do it and if it ends up bad, we redo it? I was hoping that he would offer. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that Gail would be like, what if I do this? But instead we, he caught us looking at him and we were like, you know that orb in your chest? <laughs> Yeah, we did free Orpheus. <laughs> Your orb. The fight we're facing could be over before it even begins. If you're willing to make the sacrifice. I thought I made my feelings plain. <laughs> I do not want to take that step. Not anymore. Don't give me attitude, sir. Actually, don't even give me, huh? Now I feel like a bad guy. Earlier he said, I'll do whatever needs to be done. Did you change your mind? What would you like, Miss Van? Use your words. Use your words. You can't have another T-R-E-A-T. 
You can't. You've had like five today. Okay, Miss Sleepy. You just asked him to blow himself up, he's gonna give you attitude. <laughs> no, but the thing is, an hour ago in game time, he was like, honestly, if it makes it easy, I'll use the orb. Honestly, like, I'd do it for you guys. And now we're like, hey, remember that thing you said about the orb? And he's like, whoa, whoa, excuse me, ma'am. Not the Mistra will never forgive you if you allow the crown to slip from your gas. But orb guarantees redemption. The world is counting on us and the nether brain is too powerful. The orb is the only guarantee of victory we have. He was hoping everyone liked him enough to never play the card. <laughs> You're certain you won't read it. What if we just saw what it's like? Oh, there's another option. I understand, but I had to mention it while I was time. Let's carry on and end this. Just out of curiosity. seen him explode hold on <laughs> gail i just want to see what it's like are both options the same difficulty see i feel way too bad even if we scum save this plotting something to bring up I mistra I my feelings plain i do not want to take that step not anymore not us having to hear that line every single time. Yeah, but Andy, that's why we're scum saving. I just want to see what it's like. I just... You're plotting something, Am I getting me you? offered? Come on, then. Out with it. I thought I made my feelings plain. I do not want to take Yeah, it's the same step. either way. Not anymore. I don't want to watch myself say this. I can simply tell you what you want to hear, then ascend by myself and take on the brain alone, you know? Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Not us saying, I know you won't. I trust you. <laughs> If I say three, is he gonna back out? You presume I wouldn't stand by your side right to the end? Or does that mean I'd go with him? No, I would not presume that. I know quality when I see it. But it won't come to that. For I have the means to spirit away those I care about to a safe remove. Before the final curtain. <laughs> Goodbye, Gail. There's endless wonder out there. Infinite possibilities. I feel like a piece Perhaps of shit. Bring us back I feel like a piece of shit right now. Not the smile. Gormus, Inferni, Blandimenta.
Did he just... Oh, I'm having so many regrets. Up you go then, Gail. Let's make this count. The whole world's watching. Oh no, Sky, we get to watch. He just made sure to get all of the pals in away to a safe distance. I feel terrible. I'm all oh, I feel so terrible. I wonder if you can do this as you if you play with Gale. Yeah, you can set off the nether resorb whenever you want. He lived as a pool boy. He dies as a pool boy. No, I think you're mistaken. The name's Gale of Waterdeep. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. You know, Though our time together will be This is probably going to make me a Gale stand. Farewell. And happy land. No, because they were up in the air. It's like the end of The Dark Knight Rises. When Batman flies off with the nuke. We're gonna see Gale in a cafe in like... See Gale in the end of a ca in a cafe at the end <laughs> in, in like one of the other realms, and you're gonna see <laughs> you're gonna see Tab look up and make eye contact with Gale, and then they're both gonna go. <laughs> a cafe in Avernus, yeah, and Gale's just gonna go. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it. You hear that, Gail? I'm actually For really this. sad. This is probably the time to reload before epilogue stuff happens, huh? Let's go fight the brain ourselves. Whatever. <laughs> I was imagining the end of RDJ's Sherlock series. Gail just disguises Tab Sofa. Oh, I don't want to load here. Let's load here. Everything you sacrifice. Like Gail. Gail was like literally the only thing we sacrificed. So. I will never have the strength to do it myself. Hey, you're welcome. You're plotting something, aren't you? Come on then, out with it. I'd rather know before we take on that cerebral monstrosity. It's funny that you can't even like bring this up yourself. It's just a cutscene when you're doing the brain stuff, when you go to climb the brain. Hockey friend said thank you for the invites. Yeah. I'm pretty good at making friends. J 
just reminding ourselves of our plan. We attack the brain, then come Orpheus's part. Viable a plan as any while staring into the moor of perdition. Shall we? So funny that because we we're reloading. It's sort of like we had a split second daydream. Yeah. I didn't pay attention to how the orb would work and thought he would be like Havoc from X-Men and try to use it in fight mid act three. Lizzie. Lizzie. question i'm gonna reload real quick i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say goodbye to gail i promise i'm wondering if we can heroes feast orpheus now that we've had like a full reload i'm gonna have to reload before this but if we can because everyone else in the party is going to have the buffs from the Heroes Feast, but I'm wondering if we can do it for Orpheus as well. And then possibly keep him from being like frightened or stunned or stuff. Oh, it does work for Orpheus. Yes! So that keeps him from being frightened, diseases, poisoned, his wisdom saving throws have advantage, and his maximum hit points are increased. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful, wonderful. I thought it you're plotting something, aren't you? I'm not plotting anything. Come on then. Out with it. It's nothing. I'd rather know before we take on that so I'm just gathering plotting. myself, Gail. Let us proceed. Oh, we didn't even have a talk the during that. Of Carsus, the sight okay. of power. Cool. The sight of domination. That's it. We have to use the nether stones on the crown. It's the only hope we have. Okay. What happened to him when Gale blew up? Did he just kind of like disintegrate on top of a dragon? That face. The one in my dreams. Who are you dreaming about? Are you bringing all the dream guardians to life? I know everything about you. Good old Boulder. Your thoughts. Your feelings. Yeah, we tried out the Gale explosion your option, weaknesses. Casey, and I felt immediately like a piece and of shit. So do they. So. That's a chasm. Astral gravity. Immune to falling damage. Jump distance is tripled. But he's got 10 extra hit points. And if they're removed, the shield burst, possibly stunning foes. We've got two Dream Guardians, three. <gasps> Say it isn't so. Does he have one for me? Does he have my Dream Guardian? No! Historian, you? Is this? No. Where's my Dream Guardian? Where's Cassian? Astarian was not supposed to walk forward. Um, that's actually terrifying. Is this the crown? Okay. Well, Astarian used his thing. But that's cool. 
56, 56, 220, basically. It's a red drag. 280. And then we have four illithid arcanists. The crown of Karsis, which is this. Okay, cool. All right. Swords meet sorcery. What does the red dragon have? Resistance to fire. Opportunity attack, dark vision. Physically, psychically dominated. Are we able to not, or to keep him from dominating? I could reduce his size. I'm gonna... Nice. Very nice. I'll take it. Starin, you might be fucked here, but... Alright. We are... Can he be... It looks like I could... Uh, disarm. I don't want to do it ranged, though. Not enough movement. We misty step over. And Lazel, you have got to hit these, okay, Miss Ma'am? He dropped his weapon, that's perfect. I know that we have, like, a slash attack. Not this one. Do our arc. Let's do Soul Breaker. Let's do this. What do you have left? Seven? This is supposed to do multiple at once, but it doesn't look like it's letting me do that. It will lacerate. Sixty-two. I want to take out the tentacle, but we can do that with three off. So we keep going. Man's almost dead. I'm gonna give this to him. Oh, do I have to like look back at them and give it to them? I'm gonna just project. You're prone, but you're fine. You'll be fine. Everything is fine. Everything's great. Everything's fine. We do a nice little ice storm on these guys. He's prone. Dead. 229. This can only go up to eight. Hmm. Can't do that. Okay. Seems good. Orpheus. Channel the stones to control the... the st uh... I have to be that close to the crown. Okay. I wonder if this will get me close enough to just do it. Come on. 
I just have to make sure he doesn't get attacked, but like... He's got fuckers around him, so... Ionic Backlash, do not react. Gotcha, bitch. What is this? Level one, counterspell. We protect our friends. She says. About the guy she convinced to kill himself two minutes ago. Fuck. Okay. At least he's up there. I just need to keep track of how many actions he has. Was that Lazel? That was Lazel. Um. Not cool with that, actually. Not cool with that. Lazel, huh? Oh! Starry Boy! We're fine, we're fine. 280? No, it was 28. Oh, why did he kill that? <laughs> hey, hey, wait. Why did he do that? Oh, he's almost dead. It's so much for the Emperor. Yes, tell him, dear. For backup. The last board is set. So I can't use this again? I think it's because I toggled this, but I didn't actually like use it, use it. That's fine, because these guys are 156, 56. So we're gonna do Do they have any? None. Okay. We're gonna do a sweet old glyph of fire at level five. And let them perish. Uh heal your heal a creature you can see. Is that Lazel's turn? Where can she jump to right now? I can't use it on my- oh, I can. Oh, it uses an action. Okay. I'm breathing. Despite everything. All right, Brio. Oh, I've been silent, so I can't cast spells. Panic overload. Thirty twelve. These guys are thirty two twenty seven. What else do I have? Just that. Okay. Oh, I got charmed. Cute. He's stunned. He can't move. Um, hush. It's a level one. We'll do psionic backlash. Oh, we got, still got silence, though. That sucks. I will. Not my boy. Charm him. Good job. 
I'm hoping that when more bodies up here, they'll start trying to attack more bodies instead of just Orpheus. This man will not, for the life of him, stay unstunned. Neither will any of us, actually. We're okay. If only I had Shadowheart, you know? Because we could use her divine intervention. This thing loves to kill tentacles, and you know what? I'll let it happen. I'm down. Okay. We are silenced. Were you silenced? Were you silent or were you silenced? I still have the fucking hammer on. Can't even get over there. That's crazy. Just don't want to get near the dragon. Can I walk up this? Oh, I can. And away I go. Babe. Scaring me there, scaring me. Where's he at? 38? We're gonna... Okay. God damn. Don't tell me he gets to go again! Get out of here! I think Orpheus is no longer dreaming. Get got. You aren't getting away from me. You're dead. Saved. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job! Shut up. Shut up, shut up. How do we get him to stop being stunned? Fuck. We gotta protect him. Okay, so... Why are you walking that way? Oh, I hate you. Complete what you were doing, babe. She's making me mad. We will be flying next turn. Ah, oh, and the Nautiloid's on his way next turn, too. Yeah, I don't have movement speed for it. That's fine. I will He dead? He's not dead yet. I don't want to do. I want to do this. No, he'll get taken care of. Fuck it. Make way. enough movement. Me, me, me. It's okay.
That guy's gonna die next. We gotta get this guy down. What is he technically? Aberration? Superior. Where's our big boy? Where's our like big boy potion? I know we have one. That one. I'll use superior though. I have a feeling he's gonna get got next by the dragon. I gotta remember to call forth allies next time. Tentacle, tentacle. I can't Misty step there because they don't want me to have fun. But whatever. Can I Misty step over here? Hey, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so much for peace. There's literally nothing you can do, babe. You're dead. Diana Kate, thank you so much for the five month resub. Welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful one. Appreciate ya. All right, Orpheus is back. 58 of 150. Okay, instead of doing anything with Orf, or with him, what I'm gonna do is throw my big boy potion at him so that he heals a bit. Because if we lose him, we're fucked. Perfect. That makes me feel a little bit better. Why not? I need to... having thoughts right now. Lazel, Dame Aelin, an owl, owl bear in full ready rage, Firestorm, Inferno, Wall of Fire, the Hunt Wardens, the Harp Squadron, the Watch, Isabel will heal everybody. Let's bring Mazora in here, why not? Fuck it. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Who cares? I'll rally Mizora, sure.
Who's this guy? <laughs> and now we'll move this. This is the only, like, guy. Yeah, so we'll move this onto the dragon. And we'll end our turn, and now Orpheus can do his thing again. And let's hope for the best! He's still doing it! He's still doing it! He's still going! Saved. That's okay. You did your thing, Mizora. Oh my god, she has crazy stuff. What are you doing? No one's standing in that, right? Pinnacle died. Not us, though. Currently not in circles. And it's still just dragon and tentacles. There's a single mind flare, so oh, back there. Okay. I can't even catch my breath. But you're gonna fucking you're gonna walk because you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna keep Moonbeam on the dragon. And I think we just kind of unload on the dragon here. Um... Can you imagine if I did that and he lost his concentration? Pop a little heal off real quick. Good job, Gale. Go ahead and stand in front of- well, no, because if you get psy psionic blasted. Let's get everyone out of the way. Okay. Dragon. Dragon slang. Let's go, baby. Hold on. We already used true, st true strike. We got five of these. We've been saving them the whole campaign. Mm-hmm. I could go down there and hit him. Let's just start calling some friends in. We also could roll in Firestorm, but I think we can only do that once. So we probably should wait in case it gets worse. Firestorm's also not going to hurt the dragon. We're going to Dame Aelin. God, I love her. God, I, I love her so much. Where is she at? Did she even pop up on the list? I can't give in. Not that I can see. I'm just going to move this to the side a little. Sorry, I needed to readjust it, my bad. Really don't like it that you want to go down there so bad. Alright. He's gonna try to get to Orpheus, but he can't. Did we do it? The brain 
is weakened. This is our chance. Our chance to do what? <laughs> our chance to do what? Its will is stronger than anything you've ever felt. Our chains shake, threatening to break at any moment. It's vulnerable, but not defeated. Use the portal. We will bring it down together. There's gonna be a phase two. everybody hello <laughs> where is everybody 734 2 to 16 but here's the question as a reaction to taking damage it releases brain quakes emits a psionic force that mind breaks nearby in it nearby enemies load lobotomize a nearby creature that is stunned prone to sleeping or unconscious well he's not stunned have to get down there so what is that 30 16 my guy has key points oh yeah he is a monk isn't he I'm sorry? Oh. I'm confused. Everyone has to go through the portal. Okay. I'm so confused by the way that it's doing this. How can she, can she go through? Zora. Is it only Only player characters that can go through? Just your party. Oh, so they get to stay here and fight the baddies. I'm gonna hold monster. And it's held. All right, sick. Let's go, girl. Let's go, girl. The like, teleporting back and forth is weird. Like, what are you doing in there? Not all it's doing shit, okay. And it's in front, so we gotta get everyone inside. Move, destroy him from within. How much? It's an aberration. We don't have an aberration thing again. Rick! So, Hanky, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hope you're having a wonderful one today. Appreciate ya. We are in the very, very end game of, uh, of Baldur's Gate. So if you want to avoid spoilers for the very end game fight, um, I appreciate you being here. I will not be offended if you leave, if you check out, but thank you for coming by in the raid. I'm gonna smoke powder this man. And hopefully try not to get Orpheus. And I don't think we'll get Orpheus if we're here. Let's see. Yeah, nice. Only eight and four. Cool, cool, cool. Got it, got it. We fighting a giant brain? Yeah, that's the nether brain. It's kind of crazy. 
It is kind of, kind of chill. We're kind of, uh, we're doing things, you know? It's a little crazy. Kelsey, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Super Battle Burger. Super Battle Burger, welcome to the Shark Tank. Hope you're having a great one today. All right, everyone's got to get in here. Get on in there, Gail. What can we do with this man? So this thing is not resistant to anything. That cone of cold. Dominate person, which bolt. I don't think we can put this anywhere close enough to kill. Hold on. We could get it here. We'd have to be, like, right up there, though. If only I still have my chain lightning. How sad. Marked for negation? Fuck does that mean? Affected entities with in range of the nether board. Oh! It's good. Oh, fuck. How do we know where marked for negation is? It's these? The red ones. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. Move him over here and they're a little bit closer. A BG3 campaign with call up people. Oh my gosh. Matt, that would be so fun. That would be so, so fun. I'm gonna go in it comes easy these days. and then get this is it. Its will is weakening. Hold on. Alright. Another fight. Let's oh, go. we can't call allies in here. Lazelle. I really should have uh, done it while we were out there, but no choice but to keep going, babe. We're doing what we can here. I, I put it here. It targets that. Yeah. But where do you need to go to put it there? You don't need to walk anywhere. Okay, cool. Good to know. Can't slow down. I'm gonna have to remember I can fly I as my girl. Does she have any po- oh, fuck. And then Orpheus can go again. Okay. And Orpheus should have several attacks right now, right? How do I know how many... He's also marked for negation here. And I don't understand why. Are they? They're not still marked for negation, right? No, okay, cool. Okay, I think I was just in the way. In combat, mind players can use actions and bonus actions interchangeably. Can I use this still? Oh, 
target is not oh it's the crown of Carsis. okay mm. only 25 percent i'm scared That's cool as hell. I didn't even look at these. Lowering all their ability scores by five and one such, oh my God, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm nervous. Did that even hit him? Hello? What is going on here? I'm so nervous. Disappear! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yes, here. What is that? Oh my god, dude. What fools these mortals be? Am I able to... Do you think this is gonna work on him? Casting it at a higher level doesn't work, okay. Maybe quick save? I'll probably reload if it doesn't have an effect on him. saved from it. That was the issue. That was the thing I didn't want to happen. How do you miss the big ass brain? That's what I'm saying. Catch the game tonight? I did. I did. I kept up on it through texts from CJ <laughs> who was watching and uh, Moosh was also watching in the restaurant we were at. My phone didn't have enough uh, service. I mean, I guess I could. Cloud of daggers him. Eighteen. We'll take it. Victory awaits. We shall take it. That sucks. We kind of. We're gonna have to do it though. Like how? How else are we gonna get down there? do disarming it's not gonna work I'll take a nine I'll take only a three is that one hamstring oh I'll take a six now that we've used that we're gonna have to do this.
I can't fly with Lazel. I can fly with Brio. At least she's not prone. Crit hit. We'd love to see it. Brioff can fly, though. And maybe we stick them together. Because at the very least, what I can do is throw a big old potion between the two of us. Okay. Let's get this over with. Looks good. I'm also gonna heal her a little bit more. Cause it's rough. It's getting rough out here. Six. That's not gonna do anything, I don't think. That's not gonna do anything. Cannot be moved by force. A little tentacle whip, fuck it. I know I said fuck it, but like... Uh-oh. Did they move? They moved. Oh, thank god. That's a GG right there. No. Moonbeam! Moonbeam, baby! That's what I'm talking about! It's Moonbeam! Moonbeam got the last hit of the game! <laughs> This entire game, we use Moonbeam so much that it kind of becomes a meme. There. At last. And then it wins. It wow. Join me. We yup. Me. Become absolute. And thus, I honor my mother's legacy. The grand design, once again, ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. Betray Orpheus, dominate the brain, become the absolute. Not happening. Go ahead, command the brain to destroy all tadpoles and then itself. Love this song and imagine we could have sent gail in to blow himself up and we didn't because we're nice hopes nightmares and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn infants oh the pain rips through you obliterating all thought all feeling your tadpole burns in your brain. Guess we'll never know what happens if you send Gale in to use the orb of Netheries. We'll never know. It's crazy. Yeah, just Silence. one tadpole. For the first time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. And then... Gravity. Hey, so what happened with Aelin and Mizora and... They're alive, right?
Yeah, they both can fly, you're right. I, I did summon the two winged women. We're not surviving this. Can you imagine the cleanup? A nether brain crashing into the earth. And then just... Hey, what are you guys doing? You guys are just casually fishing? There was someone walking on water. Did you see that? Tiefling Jesus? That was crazy. <laughs> Tiefling Jesus just got absolutely destroyed by the nether brain. They pull the tarp off of this, this game and it's just a retelling of the Bible. Oh, hey, remember we saw this? In like a dream. I can't believe we finally beat Baldur's Gate 3. Later, bozo. Can you imagine after all of that, they name that woman the hero of Baldur's Gate? problems are solved but you guys have got so many bodies to clean up before they start to uh, smell real bad mommy everything you did everything you sacrificed it was worth it for this you know it I wonder what's going to happen next. We don't know. We've never seen it. And that's real. The smell when the brain starts to go. Also, the brain's in the water, so it's probably going to kill a lot of the fish in the surrounding area. Like, they're going to get a full Red Sea moment going for quite some time. Oh, but it's nowhere to be seen. It's done. The nether brain is defeated. We did it! Along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. Okay. And I'm still standing in the sun. This is incredible. Maybe whatever it changed in me was permanent. Against all odds, we Wait. cured ourselves. Free from the parasite. Free from the prospect of ceramorphosis. No, we actually didn't I see this part. Believe it. Casey. We will not become accursed illithids. Not to cast any slights on you, of course. Your present form is but a sign of your gallantry. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I Hi, knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. But why not? You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. No! He's giving me his silver sword to but do first, this. First, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos. And ride to the astral sea. Orpheus, Destroy no. Blackith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. I'm 
I really love Lazo. Like, I love the person that she's become after we've kind of shown her that she doesn't have to obey every single law just because her people tell her it's the right thing. But without Orpheus, there's no chance that the Githyanki will change their ways and become less cruel in their teachings. Oh, Halson's here. Um, so... Sending her to rule the Githyanki, destroy Vlacketh, and to, like, teach her people what she's learned along our journey would actually be really great. So I'm... You should do this, Lizzo. Your people need you. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlacketh's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from this fall. I don't want to kill Orpheus. You're a mind flayer, but you're still you, aren't you? Yes. But for how long? Well, Omalum is still himself. Screams. It will never stop until it has slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. The rest is up to them. Someone else must rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the Astral Seas, while I still have one to call my own. I like, I like the third, but I also do feel like he should have a choice in this matter, you know? I really don't like this decision. You may not be able to return to your people, Orpheus, but you deserve to live to see their future. Because even though it would be bittersweet, like he's not able to return to the people that he gave up everything to save, he'd still be able to see them be saved by his actions, which I think would be... It's like different for every person, but I think that would be cathartic. It's in the cards. Perhaps you are right. I may not be the one to lead my people, but I can still bear witness to their glory. I shall find a place for myself in a corner of these realms. For even in darkness, the stars of Tunarath will shine upon me. You were a worthy ally. Bye. Goodbye. His people are blessed to have him as their prince. I just hope he finds peace in his new form. Me too. Kulos! Omalum is friend shaped, and now Orpheus is friend shaped. But the rest of the mind flayers. Lay's also badass. I forget you. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir. Liberator. Mlagir. I mean, in a real D and D campaign, you could also ask your DM if you could go find a wish spell somehow, and then use a wish spell to either change Orpheus back or 
give Karlak her heart back. Karlak even asked you if you had a wish spell. Us. An unlikely place to find ourselves, fighting on the same side as them. Hey, will. With the Githyanki gone, Whenever we're, like, close up but not super close city. up on Will, Smoldering. his Waiting eye, his stone eye thing. looks like it has a Mickey Mouse head in it instead of a pupil. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Chiontha. Great, leave it there. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. Power of Carsus would be in my hands. Bro. We're about to scum save all the way back and let him kill himself. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? Like, bro, what are you doing? Perhaps it's best you leave it where it is, lest anyone should ever be tempted by such power. A wise suggestion. I felt a hubris once before and landed myself with this orb. They could rather not make the same mistake again. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. Ah, that might be the smartest thing you've ever said, Gail. Oh? What do you think? A new romance? Time for a quick one? Before the work begins again? So Astarian actually got, like, changed? A celebration sounds perfect. Yes. We should see if the, uh, elf song's still standing. I won't imbibe, but I'll be happy to be away from here. And in your company. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the- Ow! No! What the- Oh no. Oh god. Oh. Run, little boy, run! Oh, it, was, it was nice when it lasted. No! Ah, I, I'm sorry. I- to go no my sweet boy i doubt we'll ever see that face basking in the sun again Carla. we did it soldier <laughs> the city's going to be all right not the music chain like astaria just runs off he's our boyfriend he so runs yeah. off in pain and we're like all right have a good one Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? You are spectacular in every way. So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you. Never say that again. Uh, it's the one thing I can't beat, isn't it? I wanted to live in my city with my friends. But life is for the living. And I saw. Demon, the engine that replaced her heart, that was, that they replaced her heart with, is failing. 
The only way she can live is if she goes to Avernus, and she doesn't want to go to Avernus. Because she knows that she'll just be made into a soldier again. Stay with her. Watch her be here. I'm so sorry. I know y'all are going to be mad at me. Why couldn't we have just cut away? Why couldn't we have just cut away? Why do we have to watch that? So Gale gets his happy fucking ending, getting to go have drinks with everybody. But then Astarian gets everything he yearned for ripped away from him and Karlak dies? It's over. And it's all And y'all want me to romance that man? Oh my god. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, <gasps> the cat no Illithid Empire. No death god's tyranny. I have the option for Will to go back with her. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. No doubt, the title you of the stream the of is us killing the Netherbrain, which is the end of the game. <laughs> I went to Avernus with Karlak. Uh, I was just thinking about <laughs> freedom. We've dealt with the parasite. This is why I couldn't go to a furnace. And you dealt with Casador. <laughs> I'll never be in someone's power again. And all it cost was my life in the sun. <laughs> now I belong to the shadows. So, what happens next? I'm breaking up with you! It made me want to... It, it, I honestly wanted to gag going for the 5K. Ugh, I just got sick. I just got so nauseated. Because this is going to be even worse than the last time we went, ha ha, I wonder what it's like to break up with him. Let's just scum save and see. You... What? Now? After all this? How dare you? <laughs> what have I done for you? After everything I've sacrificed? Uh, Fair. It's fine. If that's what you want, <laughs> so be it. He's there like, are thousands of vampires the audacity! The just waiting for a leader. I'll find them. Wait, JK. I wish you well out there. I just don't come knocking on my door. I'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. It is a pity. <sighs> we were rather good together. Oh. I'll never forget it. <clears throat> Goodbye, darling. And good luck. Why didn't it let me click something? Where are we reloading to? Six months have passed hey! since you defeated the Netherbrain. Shut the fuck up. We're not there yet.
No, I just love how the first time we broke up with him, he was like, I get it, like... And all it cost was I knew my that this day was coming, sun. so... <laughs> I hope you're now happy. And this time he's like, wow, really? So, After everything, you're gonna break up with me now. Next? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go have a fucking life. Goodbye. <laughs> he's just gonna get on Twitter. Let's settle down so far and enjoy the peace. We should find the vampire spawn in the Underdark. They'll need guidance. True, the spawn will need someone to lead them. Otherwise, they'll just be a murderous, blood-sucking horde. Although, <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice you said we should find them. Well. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. Ah, let's see what happens. <laughs> Actually, I will go and do my own thing. What a, these these options? Hello? No, this is what I want. <sighs> Good, because selfless as I am. I really did not want to let you go. We are rather excellent together, you know. And united, there is nothing we can't do. I can't say what the future holds for us, but I know we'll be facing it together. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Ah! So I don't get a Halson scene? have made a fortress in the Underdark with Astarian and other outcast vampire spawn. Yeah. It is not civilized. It is not safe. Yeah, what but about it? it is home. Few know how to find you, and most that do are unwelcome. So when a message arrives addressed oh to Oh my god, we're addressed to the nines. Words. We're not in our pink, though. Hunters, killers, tormentors. But you need not fear. This letter is an invitation. And it comes from a friend. Wait, he looks at me. With a frail hand, it requests your presence. Is it withers? A gathering of your former allies, those who stood with you against the absolute. The yeah. So, like, what happened with Hoss? is long and perilous, and you would not miss this for the world. It was withers. Lizelle. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. Withers. <gasps> we get to walk around. <laughs> What's up for discussion? <laughs> It's good to see you. He looks coyly at the ground, <laughs> suddenly shy. What have you been up to since we last met? He snaps the air and wiggles. He's either miming fighting a many-limbed creature or dancing. It's unclear. We're in our first he is, camp however, as well. Exhausted. He's had plenty of adventures without you. The fact that Damon made him armor. Um, excuse- what does this mean? Do I live in the Underdark with all the vampire spawn and Astarian, or do I live with Halson? Did they not account for the polygamy? <laughs> you look tired. What say we find you a home? How about with me and Halson? Halson's your roommate. He would not thrive in the Underdark. Ooh. 
the joy in the owlbear's eyes is clear. He longs to have a home, and Halsim is perfect. You're right. Magnificent. Magnificent. Who the fuck are you? I never met you a, a I never seen your face. And you're here when all the the pals are okay. Oh look, we broke our concentration on Moonbeam that we cast six months ago. Six months ago. <sighs> all right, let's start making our rounds. <gasps> Tara, hi Scratch. There's something strange in your old friend's mouth. Scratch, what, what is, is that? It? I'm so glad Withers remembered to invite my favorite companion. Scratch barks merrily in something like agreement. Yeah, we're in the epilogue he seems fish. Excited in a way you recognize. He wants you to throw the object he's dropped. But it isn't a ball. It's the Why is color like that? Oh. Where the hells did you find this boy? He whines. Let's talk. More throw. Gotcha. Come here, boy. I need to throw the the astral prism. I love that the astral prism is now a glorified dog toy. Hey, Jahira. Ah, well now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. That makes one of us. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I am simply excitable. <sighs> it is good to be out under an open sky once more. Bush. My first, since the reconstruction began. We left quite a mess behind. But the city begins to look something like itself once more. Same twisting alleys for purse Wood. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. It's a kip, but it's our kip. I wouldn't change a thing. Baldurians simply get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit, plain stupidity. Perhaps all three, but nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. <sighs> Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my Let's daughter. go, Clark. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand, to organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. <sighs> they might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her again. You must be proud of them. I suppose I am. I tried to steer them clear of my life's work, but... They have chosen it for themselves. Who's clapping? Ah, there Off is beat. still much to do. People to house. A harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city. But so long as my family chooses to serve it. Oh, it's okay, Hardlight. No less. C continue on. For all your travels. I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Oh, go ahead. Keep, keep going, Clark. You and Hardlight can keep keep clapping. My home is with Astorian. <laughs> I'm gonna... Sentiment. I'm normal. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. I must inspect the refreshments. Bye, Crafty! You'll never know. 
Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. There you are. I was hoping you'd make your way over. I did not make my way over. You made your way over here. Do not say that. Are we gonna dance? Gods, I must look a mess. I just rolled out from under a pesky ogre when Withers yanked me in. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... Well, I didn't mean that. I just gutted the ogre, not... It's okay, Will. How about I change the subject? <laughs> this hole any deeper. It's so good to see you. And I've got so much to tell. The trolls I've torn open. The ghouls I've cleaved. The stories I've been itching to tell. Uh, I don't suppose you'd indulge me. I don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm not interested in any stories, Will. That'd be so mean. A tale of battle told by Blade of Frontiers. I'm eager to hear. Yes, but just the one, or I'll be yammering all night. It's really sweet seeing how happy you want he to is. Hear about the Stegosaurus that bullied Candlekeep, the impossible Lich, or the young dragon who crawled out of Deeping Cave. The Lich, most certainly. It must have posed quite a challenge. It did. Though the adventure had peaceful beginnings, as so many often do. I made camp south of Daggerford. The night was calm, lit by the green lanterns of a caravan. I was about to dig into a hearty stew when it began. A deluge of bone. It was as if a thousand skeletons were walking the sky. I love that when Tav is watching someone tell Skulls, a story, knuckles, ribs, she does not look... I shielded like, myself interested at all. She looks disgusted. The, the bones Bored. clumped and clattered into Just unspeakable like... aberrations. Thank I you for carved, your and carved until I reached the light. I found okay. no caravan, but a sickly green lich. Each Lauren James, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Hope you're having a good one. We are in the epilogue of BG3 right now, but so if you'd like to jump out for spoiler reasons, I will not be offended. Thanks for stopping by. But welcome in. Hope you're having a good one. By morning. The fields were buried in shards of bone. The liches included. Your father must be proud of you. Have you been visiting? I've seen him more than a few times. And he's as proud of me as I am of him. You shouldn't he's be proud of him, but... He's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. And I feel like your tab has the worst case of resting bitch face I've seen in this game. Fist with brave heart and no, <laughs> no you're so right. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow. That cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions. Father's Isn't she so pretty, Frasier? If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but he's teaching the fist a new lesson. I've missed traveling with you. You were a pleasure to be around. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, Besties. the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. Anthony is trying to FaceTime me right if now. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not. Is Anthony in chat? I can't imagine not having you at my side. You want me to answer this? Nope! God, I hate him. God, I hate him. <sighs> Incredible story. I wish I'd been there to see it play out. I wish you'd been there to join in. Oh, to battle together. Just like the old <laughs> days. I suppose that's my way of saying I miss you. Uh, Tonight, I toast not just the people I don't want to ask him about Mizora. But the people we were. Warriors. Winners, saviors. Mizora must keep you busy with her missions too. 
She's kept her leash loose. No, I've been no stranger to the hells. Every target she set me on's been a demonic intruder. Tanari assassins who slip into Avernus. Armonites that amass near the Styx. My next mark's the most challenging yet. Or so she says. I don't know much more. Only that it's no demon, but a devil. She's playing a game. I don't know what it is or how she plans to win, but I can tell you this much. I'd fall on my own blade and join the blood war in an instant should Zariel's yes, touched fingers stretch towards the coast. And as long as I'm more useful as a warlock, that's not a risk Mazora would take. That's so funny that he says more useful as a warlock because I reflavored him into a paladin in this playthrough. So he's literally a paladin right now. And he's saying that as long as I'm more useful as a warlock, baby, you're not a warlock. Let's cut to the chase here. You're not a warlock. Let's, it's been six months. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent. We're gonna talk to Halston and Astarian last. <gasps> Let me talk to this guy. What's his it what's his deal? What's this guy's deal? Who are you? Who invited you? This is a friends only gig. Oh, hello. Let me guess, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. Oh! The music's fine, uninvited guests or not. Who are you? You have no idea who I am, do you? I thought Withers might have set the stage a little. I know exactly who you are. It's such an honor. I'm not gonna lie. Go on then. What's your name? Milil. Though if the lack of song prayers is anything to go by, that name carries less weight than it used to. <laughs> we literally said, who Musical are you? prayers were once offered to Milil, Lord of Song. A minor deity. Did Withers invite a deity to our party? And he's sad. He's playing Wonderwall. Stop! I'm afraid. Oh, not him saying he's washed up. I disagree. It's an honor to be serenaded by Melil, Lord of Song. You. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the right. fakest smile it ever. Finally, the scribe picks an adventurer of substance, of culture. What can I do you for? I'd like you to change the song. Your wish is my, etc. What song do you want? Do you have any new compositions? Something that's never been heard before? Fantastic idea. It'll suit the whole affair perfectly. <laughs> he just started playing the reason by Hoobastank. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked to Will. We've got our boyfriends. We've got Lazelle. Shadowheart. Gale. Tar. Wait. Shadowheart. What's going on in here? Withers, you have a whole house. Hello? How much farther can I go? You made it. <laughs> now the revelry can truly begin. Your girlfriend? Hi, Lazel. She's still thoroughly stuffed. For two months I trained the knights of the comet. For two more I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through limbo. But to see your face, it 
brings me even more pleasure than that taking is, a royal inquisitor's head. That is a high praise. Your efforts to top of Lacketh are well underway then. We spilled blood. Oh, Tasha, Krellick is fine. Still, we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. Krellick's fine. Fine dust. Johnny! <laughs> Banishment. <laughs> The full name. Carlyke went to a farm upstate. She's in the upper city at a farm. Zareth Minyar Agith, what is that? Not a what, but a who. The immortal god <laughs> king of the Githzerai. An exiled people. Once king with mine, until the madness of civil war ripped our one sky into two. Argish sent word of the rebellion to Minyara gift through the cosmos. He's agreed to parlay. It's for him He's a pirate. to secure an alliance. Oh, Volo. Well, Volo's old news. Um, you know, Volo and Karlak have something in common. They're both dust. Well, actually, Volo's not dust. Volo is currently in Shadowheart's pocket. Shadowheart is still carrying Volo around. Um, hold on. The great warrior Lazel on a diplomatic mission. Exactly the reaction I expected. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance he's compressed into a diamond. Edge. Yeah. Sometimes a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against Carlac turned into dust. Volo turned into pocket lint. out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I love her. I am a warrior of the comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash up Electri to pieces. Exactly. My people will be free. But you've heard that refrain before. Um, Zealous. who are you talking about, Tasha? Are you talking about Volo or are you talking about Karlak? All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. Good luck, Lazo. And to you, always. She's an astral projection Mingo. smoke. She's nowhere Mingo. near us. So she actually That's projected word, herself right? here. Mingo. She's also a comet. But don't think you've seen the last of me. I'll be back. Sure as the comet will rise. Sure as Kalea will forever serve the sun. Ni mm, neither was technically on purpose. So Volo died because I didn't realize that the cart that he was standing on was uh, burning. I thought that we could just kill the enemies around him and we'd be able to like grab Volo and be like, yay, we got you. And that was one of the first things we actually did picking Boulder's Gate 3 up again for finals week. Um, we picked him up immediately and put him in Shadowheart's pocket and carried him around for the rest of the campaign. And with Karlac, um, we get to the epilogue and the machine in her chest that replaced her heart was finally burning up. And like we told her we would, we told her that we would be with her till the very end. She didn't want to go to Avernus. There was the choice to say, no, you and I are going to Avernus together. But I instead chose the choice, be there with her, say nothing, just be a presence with her until the end and she burned into a crisp and died and now I live in the underdark with a starian raising vampire spawn and also apparently have a place with Hulson. I'm not really sure on that one yet oh right you hello 
Don't oh, write me. Psst, 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 psst. Oh! I can piss, 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 piss. She's gonna be pissed off. Something caught in your throat, dear? Anyway, I hear congratulations are in order. You helped Mr. Dakario save Baldur's Gate from the absolute, isn't that right? Actually? Gail helped me. <laughs> he told his cat that he saved Baldur's Gate from the absolute. Gail told his cat. He's going around telling everybody that he's the one that saved. Of course he is. Of course he's going around being like, I'm the one that saved. Yes. Um, do you know the girl Briofito? Whatever her name is. She helped me a little bit. He put that on his resume so quickly. His LinkedIn was updated before we even touched down on the dock. It's so on brand for Gail. Man is probably going to every tavern, talking to every bard, being like, do you have any songs about Gail the Wise? Oh, oh, you don't. Well, let me regale you on this. Little pool boy. But who am I to ruin the the view that his cat has on has on him, you know? If that's what he told you, who am I to argue? Well done. Despite my old friend's genius. He'd have blown himself up long ago if not for the help of friends like you and I. You ought to come visit myself and Gail when you're able. If you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. I'd quite like that. Thanks for the invitation. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them, but a great many things have changed Hi, in recent months. Ta-ta, darling. I'm gonna go talk to this little fucker. I'm gonna go talk to him and ask him why he's telling- he's going around running his mouth. Telling everybody and their mom that he's the one that saved- And he's not even in his pool boy outfit anymore? That's- Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Whatever, dude. Professor Gail Decarius of Not Black a professor. Academy, educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. He's a professor? Hug him? You, a teacher. I'd hardly say you set the best example for impressionable young wizards. <laughs> Only a professor? With your expertise, I thought you could teach every kind of magic going. Where's my hug? I'm so torn on Gale because, like, part... His story does kind of, like, tug my heartstrings. But the fact that he's going around being like, I saved the city. It was me, I saved the city. When he didn't even have a single worm in his little brain. You, a teacher, I'd hardly say you set the best example for impressionable young wizards. I think you make perfect sense. <laughs> Who better to warn of the perils of misusing magic than someone who was once only a wayward sneeze away from destroying a mid-sized settlement? So what's happened to your orb? I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my, uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them. Or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. She sought me out. Not long after, we went our separate ways and assured me neither she nor the orb should pose me any threat in the future. Of course, it's still in there. A constant reminder of my former hubris. 
and a surprisingly effective means of keeping my more disobedient students in line. Perhaps a tad too effective. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. You know what really surprises me, though? That yesterday, when we were playing this game, some of y'all, when Kat jumped into chat, some of y'all were like, Kat, you would love Gale. In what world would Catherine Scratchington be able to even take a minute of this guy being around? Like, I'm still flabbergasted that some of y'all were like, Oh, Kat, you'd love Gale. We're talking about Cat Scratch? <laughs> I don't think there's a man in this game that Cat would like, actually. <laughs> would have cut his hand off and told him to go blow himself up almost immediately after he was like um no I'm talking about real magic users wizards not whatever you are she would have left him in that sigil he would have been like um a hand and she would have been like get the fuck out of here go away um you used to take yourself rather seriously you know I did but meeting you, traveling the strangest of roads together, I learned to see myself differently, see the weave differently. In fact, I've actually been considering writing down the story of our adventures, the true tale of our flawed but ultimately endearing troop, and the trials and tribulations we overcame. And what Trials and tribulations. What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? I haven't found solace in the wilds. I live in the Underdark with Astarian. I thought that was clear. <gasps> I found the love of my life. I'd say I'm pretty happy. And I couldn't be happier for you. A fitting reward for the sacrifice. My mother be my turn. Getting here. <laughs> I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'll be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort. He wants clout from me? Guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. He's trying to get clout from me. Oh. <laughs> I'm pulling the no. I, I have a boyfriend. Where it's like, yeah, we should go out sometime. Yeah, me and my boyfriend would love to. <laughs> Perhaps a story and I can give the lecture together. I don't see why not. Two heads are better than one. Unless you're dealing with an etin. <laughs> of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. It still feels like he's I'm hitting on me. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. With time enough to come. Shuttleheart, we gotta talk real quick. Girl, girly pop. So much ale. Whose boat is that? We gotta talk to Shadowheart. You are. <laughs> Keeping us all on tenterhook so you can make a dramatic entrance, is it? Babe, I've been here. You're the one staring wistfully at the water. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Um, Shadowheart, isn't it? <laughs> of course I did. You lot could hardly manage without me. <laughs> you can say that with a straight face after What's all the, the times I've been doing. Your aid. Well, come here, oh. will you? Nothing, it's I guess. Forever. <gasps> <gasps> hmm. You feel 
feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and she's just telling me I put on, on weight. Ticket. She's saying I put on weight. Are you calling me chubby? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. You look good too. I suppose I do, don't I? <laughs> I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. She's very like Midwestern mom. The feelings mutual. I had no doubt. But I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. Uh, yeah, she definitely thinks that we're healthy. She's the mom where it's like, Oh, you've put on some weight since I last saw you. You look good, girl. <laughs> you must be wondering what I've been doing this past while. Must I? You presume a great deal. What have you been doing? Joking. Of course I want to know. Goodness Tell me gracious. All. Tell her you've been living a quiet existence, and you're very glad for it. As am I. It's well deserved, and I dare anyone to argue otherwise. Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. <gasps> oh. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. Oh. Getting a group of friends to regularly agree to a time and place can prove challenging. That's so meta, because that's like one of the hardest things when you're scheduling D&D &D, is to agree to a time and place. I love that. Don't worry. We'll keep in touch. I'm sure we will, but let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. You too. Alright, let's go talk to Withs. Unless Wither- Oh! No traps, please. Chest of Grateful Words. Boulder's Mouth Gazette? Did everyone write me a letter? To the hero of the realms, we have followed your adventure closely from the day you fell from the doomed Nautiloid to the final blow you struck to the nether brain as it loomed over the sword coast. We are but a humble guild who pride ourselves in telling stories, not unlike the tales to be written for you for many years to come. How inspired we have been to witness your feats, awesome and terrible. The lives you've saved and sundered. The friendships you've found. Thus we thought to extend a greeting, to thank you for adventuring with such creative determination, such panache, enough to touch the hearts to each of our number. With greatest gratitude, the Guild of Great Genius. Art Kulag. To an old acquaintance, I write to you from a sunny porch of the Last Light Inn. A light breeze blows now and then, people are milling in and out, builders, visitors, the children of all ages, and Halson's care. I can no longer hold a quill or eat without assistance. A kind friend is transcribing this for me. Thaniel, rejoined with Oliver, has promised to be with me you when the time you comes. Thank you for your and as our old songs drift on the wind ever louder, I know I have mere days left. But I do not fear it. If not for your help, this land would still be shrouded in darkness and I'd still be lost within it. Know that my heart is full and happy and I'm grateful for my last moments. Do visit someday. If you have time to stop by an old Flaming Fist Graves, I'd love to see you. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Raiders. Um, we are in the epilogue, like, area of Baldur's Gate 3. So if anyone needs to jump out because of spoiler reasons, I completely understand. I get it. Thank you for coming over on the raid and for hanging out. Um, otherwise, we are reading all of these letters that were sent to us from characters we met throughout the Baldur's Gate campaign. Um... I can't wait. I can't watch this because of what you just said, but have a wonderful night. You too, Lexi. Thank you for raiding in. Hope you have a wonderful night. <sighs> Valeria, let's see what she wrote. Salutations! I'm writing to request your help in a mysterious case that has arisen since our little Bali and Bash a year ago. Regrettably, I've had to take the credit for dispelling the ball cult. In your absence, you understand. 
and I'm working on routing the remaining ballast from our fair city with the newly promoted Blaze de Vela, a fountainhead in tow, of course. This has made me a target. Tonight. A false document Last bringing my name into ill repute has been made public. Form. An alleged unpaid bar tab at the Elf Song. If you happen to be passing through with a bundle of coin, perhaps you can persuade management of my obvious innocence. Much obliged. Investigator Valaria, sleuth of Helm. Any advice on getting ballast blood out of Koth? My hat's not been the same since the murder tribunal. Um, the fact that Valaria wrote us a letter to be like, hey, can you pay my bar tab? That's crazy. This is from Will's dad. Hero of Baldur's Gate, vanquisher of the absolute. The city is forever in your debt, for without your valor, your audacity, your sacrifice, it would not know renewal. It is not temples and inns and homes that I speak of, but hearts. Baldur's Gate can never be the city it was before it suffered the altered, or absolute's touch, and that is as it should be. The survivors have borne witness to their home's near destruction. They have come to regret turning a blind eye to the cruelty Gortash disguised as safety and security. And they understand, just as I have come to understand, that trust, compassion, and unity are the foundation of Baldur's Gate. Our gates are open once more to the disowned and displaced. The Flaming Fist will learn to be true servants of the people, and I, I will devote myself to ridding the gate of the shameful fears that allowed evil to enter our homes and sit at our tables. Yours, Older Raven Guard. Boss. Is this Kithrak Boss? Kith Yankee script. Shalak! The Prince of the Comet shines ever brightly. Breath by breath, battle by battle, Flacket's stress draws near. We have taken to the astral plane, slaughter all who must be slaughtered, and spread the air's truth to every possible ear, willing and unwilling. Many Githyanki have already taken up arms with us as warriors of the comet. Others have remained in the enclaves and traveled to creches, dedicated themselves to Orpheus as scribes, spies, and slate scholars. But our allies do not call themselves children of Gith. Sareth Minyar Gith, the Gith Sarai's god king, has requested an audience. There was a time I would have thought such a collision unspeakable, but Orpheus have spoken. If Flacketh is to fall, perhaps the two skies must be made one. Boss, forever call to Orpheus, Knight of the Comet. I don't remember what uh, accent he had. Hello, friend. I'm sorry it's been so long. Turns out running a school of bards is a touch more tricky than I thought. Who knew bards were so dramatic? I bought a small rundown house in the lower city and spent weeks putting down floors and replacing windows. Turns out I'm quite handy with a hammer and nail. When I was relatively sure the roof would hold, I decided it was time to open. I put up posters, took out an advertisement in the boulder's mouth. God, I was so nervous. I kept having nightmares that no one would show. But my goodness, did they. Children from patriarchs to peddlers line the street. The queue almost went to Rivington. Turns out, being friends with the hero of Baldur's Gate has its upsides. I'm teaching night and day and fall into bed utterly exhausted every night. And I've never been happier. Thank you, my friend. Lots of love, Alfira. <laughs> I'm okay. Hey, you. It's Arabella. You remember me, right? Bone Man once said I needed to find balance. Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Fancy talk. He was right, though. After I touched that idol in the grove, it was like a big tree started to grow in my head. And all these weird thoughts and feelings and powers sprouted on its branches like big black leaves. I had to figure myself out. So I followed the weave, like Bone Man said. I don't know how I knew what to do, I just did. After you squished the brain, Beard Man showed up, said the weave led him to me and me to him. He's teaching me how to make sense of all those leaves on my head tree. He says I need to use magic responsibly. He also says not to call him Beard Man. I'll let you know how it goes. Beard Man is probably uh, the fucking wizard. What's his name? Gale's Wizard Man. The wizard that showed up and was like, hey, Gale, kill yourself. Oh! From the Gur family? They're hunters, so... To the spawn Astarian? 
Greetings from the family of Alma, hunters of monsters and keepers of peace across Faerun. We know this letter finds you well, for although we hunt you no longer, we do sometimes keep a watch. Your restraint and control over your bloodlust has been admirable. Indeed, it has been an inspiration for our children who have struggled with their own hunger. These last months have been a difficult time for our people. We've protected and nurtured our children as best as we can, and we have learned much. Herbs we used to dull our foes' minds are now sedatives to ease hunger and pain. Restraints built to hold the undead, not protect them from themselves. There's been a lot of pain, but a lot of progress, too. Our children learned discipline and control, while we learned compassion and patience. There was a time when we could have destroyed any undead creature, our own blood or not, and called it a mercy. But then we met you, and we saw that redemption was possible. Difficult, yes, painful, but possible. We saved our children first from Cazador. Or you saved our children first from Cazador and then from us. For that, we thank you. We will watch you still, but with admiration more than fear. Walk with peace, Astarian. <laughs> I wish we could get a shot of him, like, reading that. Because that'd be so cute. <laughs> to whom it may concern. Withers gave me this address and said I should consider writing. Well, I considered it. Return address included best Barkus root. Withers has a keen eye for a nice painting. Damn it! Why were we scrambling Hello. in barrels and crates for supplies? I hope I this finds you well, you. but I don't know how it can. God, I heard that Karlak died shortly after your defeat of the hours. brain. Though I didn't know her half as well as you, she was unforgettable. I can't help but blame myself. Wonder what more I could have done. Believe me, I won't be caught short again. I've made it my business to learn all about Inferno Metalwork, in case another Karlark should ever visit my forge. But then again, how could there be another? She was absolutely singular. With sympathy, Damon. I'm okay. No, I'm fine. Oh, Elmister, this is Beardman. Gail, we my boy! I can only apologize for the absence from Withers Little Gathering. As you know, Maybe only the most urgent of business would keep me from indulging myself in his excellent taste of sweetmeats. And your esteemed company, of course. I was delighted to hear that you came to your senses with regards to that cursed crown. And delighted yet further when I learned that the orb's malingering presence no longer poses any threat. In that sense, at least, I hope you feel Mistra treated you fairly. I trust you're enjoying your adventures. I have to say, I struggle to picture you outside of Waterdeep, or your library for that matter. Wherever your escapades take you, be sure to keep your larder well provisioned. After all, one never knows when an old friend might drop by. Elminster. Nocturne? Who's Nocturne? Dear Shadowheart, I hope you are happy and well. I must keep this short, as I remain surrounded by Shard's followers at almost every waking moment in my new enclave. I dearly wish for you to enjoy your night spent with old friends, and I hope that you and I shall share such a reunion. I know it must seem well. Or seems strange for me to dwell on such heretical thoughts. Yet I cannot stop myself. Perhaps one day I shall find some measures of the bravery that you did and walk away from this life. Until then, I shall keep safe and hold memories of you as my one ember of light amid an ocean of darkness. Till we find each other once again, yours always, Nocturne. Hope sent us a letter. I had a dream last night. Not that there are any nights here or any days. It was a dream about you, all of you, and you were here with me, and I had served bread and jam and oat crackers and cheeses and enough tea to quench a desert. You nibbled and sipped and smiled and laughed, and you asked if I was happy. Nobody has asked that for so long, and I don't know if anybody has ever asked that at all. I don't have the words to answer, so instead I lead you through my house and showed you all the souls that were here with me. They were Raphael's once, and now they only belong to themselves. The archive is an art gallery, the boudoir, 
is a, a grand kitchen. And the dungeon is a refuge for any wounded solar creature that finds its way to us. Am I happy? I don't know. But I am hope and I persist because of you. Nine finger. Oh. The hot one. She she was more of a Russian type, wasn't she? I don't remember what accent she had. I'm not asking for much for leaving my city. I'm not doing I'm not doing Russian. I'm doing my like I can't do Cockney either. I'm doing a real rough like it's gonna float around all of you the UK. But it does gladden a girl's heart to be hospitable. So I thank you for that much. In my place, except a few casts of a fine vintage that managed to roll their way down from the upper city and all the commotion. The rebuilding has given rise to many such happy opportunities. Worth discussing over a more civilized drink at my guild hall if you find yourself at a loose end. Enjoy the mock and see if you can get the high harper to sing. You won't be disappointed. And then we have... To the Malagir who freed me. To L Lazel. <gasps> Orpheus! Tlak Magir. My words come to you on slate, for they are immutable and eternal. You are not just liberators. You are all warriors of the comet, wherever you land. Whatever land you travel, whatever sea you cross, whatever plane you grace. One place. Not to mention all my favorite wines. Blackest pawns fall one by one at the hands of my faithful. But the city of death stands. And the queen sits on her vile throne at its center. We stand at a precipice. Lazel, thanks to you, we are soon to restore an old kinship, and Vlakith will burn in the fires thus stoked. The protocols are written anew, and to you, Mlagir, I dedicate the first. All who call themselves Gith shall unite under one sky. Githka Tavkim Krashk. Orpheus. I love that so much. Raven Guard returned to full string. Gondians disband. Gon's time has come and gone. Wave Servant murder solved. Serial killer unmasked as crazy ballist. Planner Pain. City caught in center of Githyanki War? Are they all different? They are. Bodies continue to surface from Iron Throne wreckage. Last holdout. Yala! Oh my gosh. Yella, first of all, Yella, thank you so much for the 41 month resub. And welcome back to the Shark Tank. And also, everyone grab your life jackets. If you were just gifted a sub by Yella, please make sure to thank them for their generosity and chat. And welcome to the Shark Tank. We've just hit our next sub goal for the subathon, which is playing House Flipper 2, new game that just came out where chat makes all the design decisions. You guys get to vote on everything. You guys get to pick what the house looks like. Um, our next one is Twilight Lego set building stream because they're making the Cullen house. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's at 700. That'll be a lot of fun. Yella, thank you again for the 50 gifted. What the heck? Enjoy the subs. I hope that you've been well, Yella. <laughs> um, where were we at? Last holdest cultist, holdout cultist cleared from Temple of Ball. Settlers bound for lands upriver amid claims curses lifted. House of Greece spokesperson declines comment. Um, this one? Six months since the assassination of Archduke, Archduke Gortash. Tour new district built by Elturian refugees. Janice house remains closed off to callers, lady and recluse. Witnesses encounter vampire spawn and live to tell the tale. That means we're doing our job. New Bardic school, tiefling founder, secures upper city funding. Honey, what are you doing? Hi, Miss Ma'am. And then we have one more to read. Thorm's army dispersed from the Baldurian borders. Six months on, Ramazis Tower without its wizard. Fresh stock and interview with the new master of Ramazith Tower. Revive beloved ranger in hero's death. Wait. Ramazith Tower without its wizard? New master. Of okay, so I guess they don't have a wizard, but they have a master. High hopper no more. Hero druid goes to ground. 
Almond Cakes of Avernus, Elturian refugees and the owners of city's newest cafe share their recipes. Cute. We didn't read too many gazettes when we played. Hi, honeybee. Mom's almost done. I'm almost done. Yeah, you just want some attention? We'll snuggle after this, okay? Because we're going to go to bed after this. Thou feelst it still. You're okay, Miss Mia. She is not here. Oh, thank you. She who was the boldest. Are you talking about Carlac? Hast thy thoughts been with brave Carlac often? Can't you bring her back? She would not come. He tried to bring her back. No, I'm okay. The world is so much worse for her being gone. There was no one like her. Correct. Not in planes, material, elemental, nor transitive can her like be found. In but a dozen ten Fancy. days, an entire life was lived. More than mortal years. Mortal centuries were hers. Thy band, thy bond, gave that life to her. And I'm so glad she was in my life too. In the fugue plain, her soul burns so bright, it pains the gods to look upon. Recall that in time, all changes and all is rejoined. Shut up. Thou shalt be with her again. I suppose I'll return to the party. I gotta go talk to my boyfriend. Carlac able to go visit her friend again? <laughs> we saw her in the city, yeah. We saw her in the city. Let's go talk to Halson. I think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. Let me guess. Just as nature intended. <laughs> Just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget this big the bond man. we all forged together. It is one that Wait, am I Persephone? Any, distance, any passage of time. I know it can. For I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. You sound like you need a hug. I always do. Should I ever decline? Assume a dog. He's so physical touch. Oh. Oh, he's so large. <gasps> that was more than worth the wait. Let's not shortchange ourselves, Hoss. And how about the kiss? How thoughtless of me. Come here. This one is so much more tender than his normal kiss. <gasps> Ew, not the groan. Ah, there it is. That is what I've been missing. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. Yeah. 
you first, Halson. I want to hear about the life you've made, the people you've helped. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned Man. what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, Man. I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes. And the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. I recall you have quite a few young wards to care for. Nine wagons of it, wasn't it? Ah, uh, my greatest purpose and greatest reward. Those children have been through more than fate had any right to cast at them. And yet they go on as resilient as anything in nature. I impart what knowledge I can to them, yet, in truth, they teach me far more. Aww. The land we saved is theirs, and they will cherish it, I'm sure. Daniel and Oliver shall never want for friends again. I'm glad you're happy. As am I. I may age more slowly than most, but... I do believe I've gained some new laughter lines of late. Yeah, she doesn't now, look like she has resting bitch face when she talks to Halson. No details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halson. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. Daddy Halson? No Halsen? mean feat to give the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. I expect you'll have a few tales that will need to wait until they are older. <laughs> Alright, let me see what I have. I am all ears. Though, I never cared for that phrase. A rather... I love Halson. image. Regale Halson with tales of your past six months. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well... I shall not object to a night off. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Hmm. Oh, I may have volunteered you for something, if you'll forgive me. Might your new community have room for a well-behaved owlbear? <laughs> Do you truly even need to ask? <laughs> of course! Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? Ah, oh, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Oh, <laughs> imagine their faces. <laughs> um... You seem more settled than I expected of you. I thought that was against your nature. As did I, but... Somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. <coughs> Amazing what can be discovered about oneself. Even at a ripe old age. Natasha, I love it too. We get cute interactions and we all just... Become... Their eyes softened. Yeah. What about Daniel and Oliver? Do you see much of them? <laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please. But with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. <gasps> what you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. 
But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. I'm never going to be able to recover from this. We've had we've had so many discussions about like, hey chat, what's the sexiest thing that a person can do? And I have said time and time again, when they're playful with children to the point of like not caring about what people think about the way they act. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <sighs> Bye, Yella. Have a great day at work. Thanks for stopping by. It was great to, to chat with you a little bit. Thank you again for the gift subs as well. <sighs> Still partial to roaming in bear form, I take it? I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. What of the Grove? Do you stay in touch? On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca! Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be if a... If a kid hands someone a telephone and they influence. don't answer it, get out. Yep. Even Korga may yet find yep. true balance, thanks to her influence. Kaga. See, the turn to leave makes me think we're gonna hit that, and he's gonna be like, one last thing. I wouldn't say no to a kiss. Nor would I. We gotta get another one in. It's the end of the game. I actually really like Halson's kiss animation. At least this one. It feels very like sweet, you know? You are more intoxicating than any fare this gathering has to offer. May I have a hug? We gotta get it all done. Always. We haven't seen this man for six months. We've been living in the underdark with a bunch of vampire spawn. We got we gotta get a little bit of the hug animation is also so good. I could get used to this. Don't. Watch, he's gonna tell me to stay, or he's gonna say something. Uh, before you yep. go, I have something Knew for it. you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. We had wooden ducks on the fireplace mantle growing up that were like whittled like this. Do you guys remember how the Halson thing was supposed to be a, a like quick, let's save and see what happens if we accept Halson's offer? And now it's like one of the best things we did in the game. You're a sentimental creature at heart, you know that? Oh. I am well aware, trust me. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on, enjoy the festivities. 
This man is still committed solely to us. Only gets to see us like once every six months. And still gets two kisses, two hugs, and is like, okay, no, you go do what you need to do. Like, I don't want to take up your time. Our friends fared without us. <laughs> they seem happy, really. I'm glad. It would be so easy to go through everything we did and come out the other side bitter and twisted. <laughs> the optimism? But they deserve happiness. We all do. And I will forever be grateful to have found it with you. Fuck him. <laughs> Bro. See, what I wish... I do feel a little bad keeping you all to myself. After all, I get to see you every night. Go on, go mingle. Enjoy your time with the others. Bless them with your presence. I'll be here when you're ready. I'll always be here, my love. No, I'm doing great. No, I'm doing great. What if I talk to him again? Go on, talk to the others. We have forever, after all. Forever? I am a druid, actually. <gasps> we do have forever! Thank Mother Gid. No, I'm a druid. Well, it's not like forever, forever, but like, as a druid, I'm gonna be aging very, very slowly. The same way that, like, Halston ages, and Halston's hundreds of years old. I didn't even think of that because I always think about a human. A human in love with a Starian, like in a flash for him. They're gone. All my favorite people in one place. Not to mention all my favorite wives. Why were we scrounging in Besties, we did it. We can tell withers we're done now. Yes. I think I've caught up with everyone. What comes next? What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, Brought to I a love that Withers threw a dinner Hear party. Me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Baldur's Gate 4. Play thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. The but big for tent for the owl bear? So did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. That's sweet. Be the greatest friends I could dream of. To you. I thought he was gonna look directly in the camera. And to you. The players controlling us. Ah! <laughs> We did it! We did it! Yay! Ugh. Oh. 
What a sweet epilogue, too, because I know they added a lot of that content after release um, and, like, patched in a lot of stuff for the end. So, maybe it was great that we took two months off playing it. Because <laughs> then we got to get an epilogue. Thank you so much, Drac, for blocking out my five-digit social security number. <laughs> Everything after the six-month thing later was added. <gasps> oh, they put so much work into the epilogue then. Wow. How are we all feeling? How are we all doing? Goose, thank you so much for verifying your account. <laughs> I am unwell, but so good. Um, we are gonna do a giveaway for a Baldur's Gate 3 game code because we did make it just in time for the timer. We still have an hour and 20 minutes left, but um, let me get Nightbot going so that we can get a giveaway going. Y'all are gonna hate me for this keyword. No spaces, put Rip Carlack in chat. If you'd like to enter the giveaway for a Baldur's Gate 3 code. <laughs> Hey, for God of War, we did four Brock, so don't. Don't do this. <laughs> We're literally saying rest in peace, Carlac. Come on. <laughs> Anyone that pops into stream right now is like, hey, I see that the credits are rolling. I'm so glad that I missed. Oh, what does Rip Carlac mean? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. Um, yeah, pop pop that in chat if you'd like, and then we'll do a giveaway for that very shortly. I have to play other music because I've tabbed out of the game, um, but we'll still let the credits roll. My girl was done dirty. I really wish there was a way to like fix her heart, even if it was doing almost an impossible mission to get a wish spell. I would have done it. Also, hearing the past giveaway thing, like, what happened to Brock? Oh, we were just dedicating the God of War giveaway to Brock. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna, like, spoil anything with the storyline that you go through. Chat, if you don't calm down, Come on! <laughs> God damn it. Y'all have no chill. Chill. Stop with the implications here. <laughs> At least it's not so true. <laughs> Four Brock, Rip Carlac, Sir John. I love that everyone goes to the farm as soon as I fall asleep during a stream, yeah. I was inspired to finally play 2018 God of War the other day. I just reached the point of meeting Brock. Totally felt fine. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> you accidentally locked yourself out of getting Sir John. Did you not uh, agree to, like, help Madeline or, like, any cyberpunk characters that didn't die? That hurts. <laughs> Judy, she, she got out of Dodge pretty quickly. She couldn't even wait like another month. I agreed, but then I cleared the chip. I didn't realize that wouldn't help her anymore. That's crazy. 
Pan Am? Yeah, Pan Am's fine. Can I whisper so I don't spoil different timelines? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Cyberpunk people died? No. Cyberpunk's like a really happy game. A lot of happy stuff happens. Oh, you were talking to Darkstorm. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I guess that's something for next gameplay. Yeah, yeah, no. That's the best part about, like, all the games we played. I guess except for God of War, because God of War is pretty linear. Uh, same story every time. But with... Cyberpunk and Baldur's Gate. You can play it several different times and get like several different outcomes, which is really cool. And there's Hozier. Um, all right. We're going to do this draw for a Baldur's Gate 3 giveaway code. Code giveaway. Um, Baldur's Gate is on... What platforms? I know it's on Steam. It's on Mac. It's on PlayStation 5. Is it on Xbox? PS5, PC, Xbox Series X, I believe. You still have three Phantom Liberty outcomes and six base skin endings to see. Oh, God. Time to bust through Alan Wake Final Draft in an hour. I think we can do it. <laughs> okay, so it's basically on every platform. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Windows, and Mac. So if you have any of those, I'll get you a code for whichever one for the person who wins. Um, we've had previous winners. Our winner for Cyberpunk was Walmart Slayer. And our winner for God of War was Trenton. Um, so we'll see who our final winner of finals week codes is going to be today. Where's my switch port? <laughs> yeah, Larian, where's the switch port? Also, Baldur's Gate 3 runs, run, runs, runs wonderfully on the Steam Deck. I play it a lot in bed. Um, all right. I'm not going to play the Hawaii... I kind of have to play the Hawaii Five-0 theme song, don't I? We did it for the last two. So let's do it for this one. Can we get a drum roll, please? And our winner is Stefa <laughs> Stefaruski, make sure that you have your whispers or DMs on um, and let us know what platform you'd like your Baldur's Gate 3 code on. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. <laughs> Congrats, Steph. Holy crap. <laughs> I love doing giveaways. SNES or we riot. Yeah. Oof. Oh my goodness. What a time. <laughs> um, I just got a gaming laptop too. Let's go. So I'm guessing you'd want it on P uh, PC. Like a Steam code. It is almost one. Um... I have a stream placeholder at 2.30 tomorrow. We'll see if I push that back or not. Um, considering we went late today and I have an early morning tomorrow. Let me also check because I know Friday that we're doing... Friday we're going to be doing Lethal Company. I'm not sure what time though with Kat and Ashley.
let me just double check and I'll change the schedule and put it in. Um, Steam, yes. Okay, cool. Um, Stefan Ruski, just make sure you have your whispers or DMs on either on Twitch or on Discord, if you're in our Discord. And uh, I will um, grab a code for you and whisper it to you. Did I get in after you finished BG3? Yes, we just finished and we just did the epilogue and everything. And I know that VODs are currently not auto-publishing. I will make sure when we end stream um, in a few minutes that I publish tonight's VOD and publish yesterday's VOD as well. Or like earlier tonight's VOD, because <laughs> that one probably didn't go up either. Hear me out? All right, Goose, let's hear it. What are we, what are we hearing out? I tell them, put me back in it. I'm listening. Wait, usual suspects. I like that. And it has the game population thing in. That's really good. They're the who command often enough that it makes sense. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Kat already said she can't do BG3. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay. Um, I'm going to go change our calendar for Friday. The time is still going to be a placeholder, but we can at least put it as lethal company. Um, I'm also probably going to go ahead and plan a January 30th stream. Because that's when Alan Wake... DBD chapter drops. So we'll be doing an early stream on the 30th of January for Alan Wake DBD um, when it officially drops. I'm going to go ahead and move our stream tomorrow to like 5 p.m. maybe. And we'll do a short, sweet one to just, like, celebrate the end of finals week. Because we finally got to the end. We have an hour left, but we'll do kind of a wrap-up. Um, we have an hour, you know. And then Lethal Company on Friday. I'll probably take Saturday, Sunday off just to kind of, like, catch up on my sleep. And then next week we jump into a bunch of other games and we can finally start playing new games. We can play Alan Wake Final Draft, which we probably will start doing, um, especially since I learned why the game was running so badly when we played before. <laughs> Watching Ash's reaction to Alan's reveal was so fun. I have not played finals week or I have not played final draft. I don't know anything about final draft. So whatever story changes final draft has eyes and ears are closed. Um, why was it running so bad? I had the game loaded on my, HDD instead of my solid state drive. So my computer was chugging. And that's why we were getting like audio delays and shit. And I only found out literally an hour after we finished our Alan Wake playthrough and we uh, ended stream. I was like, I got to figure out why this is happening and then realized why it was happening and went that entire playthrough. <sighs> All right, let's find someone to go run into and spread some good vibes with. Lopes is having a return stream. Lopes took a few days off of stream. I think it might have been a little over a week. I'm not entirely sure, but Lopes is finally having a return stream, first stream back. Um, wait, there's an end cutscene to Baldur's? Tick, tick. 
There is. Okay, okay, hold on. We jump back in. Oh, I can... I can scroll fast through these? If only they gave me a little scroll wheel. Hit the X and it'll go to it. There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication. It's gonna be Bane, Bane Merkel, and Ball, the right? Yep. Ball, yep. The death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals. Yeah. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin away. <gasps> Thou wilt trouble us no more. Get their ass withers. Let's go. I like that he has a mural to them in his crypt, though. Damn! Bane, Merkel, and, uh, Ball. That's crazy. It's so- it's so bittersweet to see this scene. Oh. There's a theory about Withers? What's the theory? Mm. You know what the lyrics here sound like? Bald, bald, bald capybara. Who are these guys? I've actually never sat on this screen this long. Withers was once a god, the same uh, gift that gave the dead three their godhood. Well, I, I mean, I assumed he was either a god or a deity because of the crypt he came out of. Because he's called Withers to us, but he came out of a crypt that was built for a god. Like, I feel like it's canon. Your goal, yeah. Because that's what I've always believed from the moment that we found him. I was like, oh, we're calling him Withers, but he came out of your goal's crypt, so. There's a book in, crypt, in a crypt in Act 3 that says it. Nice. He's either your goal or your goal's champion. Interesting. All right. Now we are going to go raid Lopes. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Um, I'm going to update our Discord schedule to reflect the uh, last hour of finals week and then our little um, wrap-up that we're just going to do. We're going to just sit and chat and hang out um, for next stream. And then Friday we have Lethal Company. And then next week we get to finally start playing new games or games that we've had on our wait list for a little bit and start figuring out what games we're gonna accidentally abandon and then play next uh, next December, next last week of December. So have a wonderful rest of your night. I will see you guys later. We did do the Baldur's Gate giveaway. We did it like 10, 15 minutes ago, I believe. Steph Aruski won. Um, how about a low stakes finals week next year? Like, what do you mean? where we don't play three extremely long open world games with collectibles.
That kind of sounds fun. I'd actually love to do that. <laughs> uh, have a wonderful night, everybody. Sleep well, drink some water, stretch your legs, take your meds, and be kind to yourself and others. Have a good one. Bye!